When it comes to Chinese laptops with a Apollo Lake Celeron processor, there are two prominent choices, the Chuvi Labbook 40.1 and the Jumper EasyBook 3. A lot of people asked which one of the two is the better choice. Well, actually this question isn't that easy to answer because it really depends on your needs and which flaws are more significant to you. So what we're gonna do in this video is to quickly compare those two laptops to make your purchasing decision easier. So let's start with the design. Both the Chuvi Labbook 14.1 and the Jumper EasyBook 3 are made from plastic, yet they are totally different. The Chuvi Labbook 14.1 offers a much better build quality. The plastic is a high quality one and the parts fit together accurately. The material also is thicker, which in combination with a metal bar inside makes the Chuvi Labbook 14.1 very sturdy. The downside of this is a higher weight of 1.444 kg and a higher thickness of the base and screen parts. The Jumper EasyBook 3 next to the Labbook 40.1 seems rather cheap and flimsy. Due to the cheap and thinner plastic, it also has a lot of flex to it. While this surprisingly has never been an issue during daily use, it sure leaves a bad aftertaste. The pro of it, the Jumper EasyBook 3 is thinner and lighter at 1.197 kg. But in the end, we would give a point to the Chewy Labbook 14.1 here, since build quality is more important than weight and dimensions. Connection interfaces are the same on both laptops. They do both offer a mini HDMI port, a USB 3.0 port that can power external hard drives, a second USB 2.0 port, a headphone jack and a microSD card reader. Congrats, both devices get a point here. Another feature both laptops do offer is an internal M2 SATA 3 connector for SSD expansion. However, while in the Jumper EasyBook 3 there is sufficient space and no metal that could cause a short circuit, the space inside the Chewy Labbook 14.1 is limited and the metal bar is in the way of the SSD slot, so you would need to either insulate the SSD or take out the metal bar. So that's one point for the Jumper EasyBook 3 since SSD expansion is much easier there. Let's continue with the keyboard. Both devices offer a chiclet style keyboard. The Jumper one is easier to get used to since the key travel isn't as huge as on the Chewy. But in the end, once you got used to it, the Chewy Labbook's keyboard is better if you type a lot since it's more reliable. The Jumper tends to do double inputs from time to time, which is something we never experienced on the Chewy. Yep, you guess right, that's one more point for the Chewy Labbook 14.1. Moving on to touchpad, we have to say that we greatly prefer the Jumper EasyBook 3's touchpad. It is more responsive and precise, has a smooth surface and no Windows gestures. The Labbook touchpad feels kinda rough, has a slight input lag and offers Windows gestures which can't be configured at all. Also, it often triggers pinch to zoom gestures during two finger scrolling, which is annoying. That's clearly a plus one for the Jumper EasyBook 3. Moving on to screen, both laptops have their pros and cons. The Jumper EasyBook 3 has an anti-glare screen with a very high brightness, but it is just a TN panel, so black levels and viewing angles are rather bad. For outdoor use, the screen is awesome, but for media consumption it's not. The Chewy Labbook 14.1 has a glossy screen and the maximum screen brightness is rather low, so it isn't good for outdoor use. However, it is a brand panel made by AUO and it is based on IPS technology. Viewing angles are great and so are colors, contrast and black levels. So this screen clearly is better for media consumption. One flaw are bright spots close to the screen bezels. So what to do? While the Jumper EasyBook 3 screen is better choice for working, especially outdoors, the Chewy Labbook 14.1 screen is better for media consumption. Well, let's be fair and give them a tie. Next stop is performance. Long story short, the Chewy Labbook 14.1 is quite a bit faster since it runs on a quad-core Celeron N3450, while the Jumper EasyBook 3 runs on a Celeron N3350 dual-core SoC. Since both run the same GPU, you don't notice a big difference in games, but you do notice it in applications like Google Chrome that make use of multi-core processors. Of course, that means one more point for the Chewy Labbook 14.1. 
But what about cooling? Well, in terms of this, the Chewy Labbook 40.1 kinda sucks, since it doesn't have a proper heatsink, which sometimes makes it shut off when placed on a bed or using it while charging. The EasyBook 3 has a proper heatsink and doesn't suffer from those issues, so that's another point for the Jumper EasyBook 3. On the memory side of things, both devices look similar on the paper. They both do offer a 64GB of eMMC memory and 4GB of a PDDR3 RAM clocked at 1600MHz. But when checking the storage speed, the Jumper EasyBook 3 comes out much slower. The memory reaches a reading speed of 149MB per second and a writing speed of 49MB per second, while the Juvi Labbook reaches 266MB per second reading and 132MB per second writing speed. The Juvi Labbook 14.1 thus scores one more point. Software-wise, both laptops run Windows 10 Home 64-bit. If you want to run other operating systems, you can't do so on the Jumper EasyBook 3 since it simply refuses to boot other bootloaders even if Secure Boot is disabled. The Juby Labbook 14.1 on the other hand does support booting Linux and even Remix OS for PC, which is why it scores another point here. The Jumper EasyBook 3 comes with a rather slow BGN single band Wi Fi card, while the Juvi Labbook 14.1 boasts an AC Wi Fi card with up to 700 Mbit per second throughput. Yep, that's one more point for the Juvi. Both laptops do sport stereo speakers, but while the Juvi sounds rather flat, the EasyBook 3 offers quite intense basses and a higher volume. For watching movies, the EasyBook 3 speakers are far better. Another point for the Jumper here. The webcam on the Jumper EasyBook 3 and Chewy Labbook 14.1 both take pictures with 0.3 megapixels resolution. The picture quality isn't great on both, but results on the EasyBook 3 look a little better. The Juvi Labbook 40.1 sports stereo microphones, the Jumper EasyBook 3 just one mono microphone. Still, the EasyBook 3 sounds kinda better, and since the EasyBook 3 performs better here, it gets one more point. The last thing to compare is the battery. The Juvi Labbook 40.1 comes with a 9000mAh cell, the EasyBook 3 boasts a 10000mAh cell. While charging time is roughly the same, at a bit more than 3 hours, battery life is greatly different. While the EasyBook 3 scores an average runtime of around 9 hours, the Juvi Labbook 40.1 only reaches an average of 6 hours. So battery life on the EasyBook 3 clearly is better, this is why it gets one more point. So there you have it, that's how the Jumper EasyBook 3 and Shuvi Labbook 14.1 stack up against each other. They both score the equal amount of points by performing very different in each category. So which one is the better choice for you really depends on your needs. In a nutshell, the EasyBook 3, due to its brighter anti-glare screen, better touchpad and longer battery life, seems to be the better choice for outdoor and travel use. The Juvi, however, is a nice choice for home and media use since it offers a better screen in terms of colors and contrast plus a better performance. So that's all for this video, links to the reviews of both devices are located down in the video description. I am Christopher for CMM, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.